Hi everyone and welcome back to another Lost Stack video. Today we're going to talk about Abyssal Dungeons. So Abyssal Dungeon is my favorite in-game thing. Like it's my in it's my favorite in-game content in the whole Lost Stack because it's basically like a dungeon from other games. It's not like automated. It's not auto-generated with bosses who surely do anything. It's a hardcore dungeon where if you don't do the tactics, if you don't do the like the strategy from the dungeon, you're basically going to die and die die it's you you have to do what you have to do like some of the bosses will do some stuff and you don't if you don't do what you're supposed to do everyone's gonna die <laughs> and it's it's just so fun because we had a, like a raid evening in the guild lately uh, man, four people and we, we just kept dying like eight times until i googled it and i was like ah oh, we have to stand on the orbs and not kill the orbs but yeah you get what i mean so basically for, to unlock the episode dungeons you need to first get to north Fern. So now Fern gets to level 50, gets to North Fern, and then you have to follow the main quest. Once you finish like the main quest, which also gonna unlock power pass, um, you will then be going like in the process, you will be going to this zone here called Balanka Mountains, and you'll be doing this dungeon up here called Ancient Elveria. Basically, the next the first episode dungeon is the continuation of this dungeon. It's pretty cool. It's like the same guys you meet in there. You're gonna meet like it's it's the same like universe if you know what I mean. So basically, up in this dungeon here, spoiler alert, you're gonna find like a necromancer with a big dragon. And once you unlock it, get to level 50, and you get up basically here to the Abyssal Dungeon Station, you will see it's it's like the same thing, and you have to like go in and fight again against this necromancer-ish thing. Um, it's pretty cool. So you can see when you go open up the Absol Dungeon, you can see the requirements to actually do this is you have to complete the quest called She Waits, He Leaves. And that's basically the quest you're going to complete in the main quest in North Warren, which you're also going to unlock Power power, power, power Pass, which is going to give you free level 50 boost. So again, get to North Warren, just follow the blue quest, just follow the, you know, the light blue quest and it's going to unlock you no matter what you have to get to level 50 and you need to have a gear score on 340 basically how to get 340 it's quite very easy get to 250 do your cast dungeons get the full gear do guardian raids when you get to 302 i think it was then just spam these two so you can upgrade the gear once you have upgraded gear enough you'll get to 340 and boom you can now do these two it's important to notice that this Abyssal Dungeon is something you can do like on this character here. On this character, this character, my, my Paladin, this guy right here. He can only do each of these Abyssal Dungeons one time a week. You can see I can like do like I have this one here, weekly gold limit, like where I get my bonus. Like you, you get like some kind of like gold. You, you actually get gold from doing Abyssal Dungeons and you can get this gold like gold bonus like six times a week. But the thing is, each character can only join one episode dungeon every week. So, for example, if I did this one here called Demon Beast Canyon, I would only be able to enter it one time and complete it. Once I completed it, I had to wait till next week till I can do Demon Beast Canyon again. But then I can do the next one under it, basically down here, which is the next one. And I can do that one, and then I would be locked again. And then, I, of course, I could log on another character and, and do it again on on this one here but again i can get up my my, my weekly goal limit will be six time here so it's like worth to do it like six times these dungeons and then of course when you get like further on the game when you can then you have to go and complete this uh, quest call here dream string elswin that's basically the next like zone uh, i'm actually not 100 percent sure which zone this is but i mean since it's 460 it's it's probably i don't know like uh yeah one of the, one of the places we can probably find out that pretty quick but you can see when you get to the next zone which is 460 zone you're basically going to come like follow that main quest over there in that like that island and again with the next one here is again then you have to complete that island over there that island it's basically because episode dungeon is like a continuation of the story but as a dungeon mode and again the last one here so you have to complete this kind of like story quest on one of the islands over here but to unlock the first one, you just need to get to North Vern, which is here. Do the main quest here until you get to the dungeon, finish the dungeon, and boom, then you have it here. Quite easy. So we're just gonna like focus on the first one. Well, well, we can focus on them all, but you know what I mean. So basically, you need four persons. It's not scalable. You need to be four persons. So you're always gonna do matchmaking. You don't enter alone. No.
No, no, no. You always say matchmaking. If you don't have friends to play with or guild, matchmaking, if you have someone to play with, of course, highly recommend it because it has highly tactics in this dungeon. You need to do the things. Like you cannot just ignore the like the, the things you have to do. But still, yeah. So basically, Demon Beast Canyon here and Necromancer's Origin. So what do you actually get? Like you're probably asking now, okay, fine, Dwalin. You talked about this now for five minutes. Why should I do this? Like why? Why should I do this? Let me let me let me tell you. Because you can see here on the right side, it actually gives you like really, really strong jewelries. I know in this case I'm already having now beta jewelries, but still, like when you when you unlike it in 340, it's good jewelries. It was until I just got better. But still, you get pretty strong jewelries. You get this knight's oath, which basically makes you it allows you to create the gear set you have right now. So, you know, when you do cast dungeons, you unlock this gear set here, which is like the first gear set, which starts at 302 and you just upgrade it. If you ever want to change that blue set into a purple epic or even into a legendary set, you need to do this Abyssal dungeon because Abyssal dungeon is going to give you this Knight's Oath, which basically lets you make an purple edition of the armor you can like craft the purple edition down here in the right corner down here so you do it then you get five orbs i got five orbs for my first one you go down here you craft armor you craft weapon and then basically after that you go down here to the gear hunting guy and then transfer your stats from the blue one or in the purple one so all the upgrades you had in your per in the blue one is going to go into the purple one and there you go i know you probably ask why should i care about getting a purple one instead of a blue one let me show you here so you can see here, like that's, that's a bad example. You can see here, it's basically the same, same item. And if it had the same upgrades, it would be exactly the same item. No difference, except, except. You can see down the bottom, it says here, Seraphic Oath. It's basically have a set bonus. Like, you know, in World of Warcraft, when you have a tier set, it has a set bonus. And down there, you can see, if I have two of these purple items on me, then I will get 8% attack speed. If I have five of my set on, which basically five, you know, five on the epic items, I will get additional damage plus 10%. So there you go. And it just shows this is so much more important to get this epic set because it's going to give you additional, it's going to give you additional damage. Like it's, it's so good. And it's, and again, these dungeons are so fun. You're going to, you're going to love it. They are so insanely fun, but again, you're gonna do then demon beast canyon as the first one then you're gonna get these currencies here which makes you like allowed to like craft your epic gear then you go to the necromancer origin where you also get it so you can like craft your epic gear but this one is also actually able to drop the gear so it would be kind of sad if you like crafted you know your weapon and then of course it drops your weapon but you know this is how rng is but this one here down here can also like drop uh, weapons which is pretty useful it also drops uh, legendary cards this one, yeah, gold and uh, engravings. And we like engravings, like a lot. We, we do. I have a video about engravings if you don't know what it is. And of course, also an epic ability stone, which is actually giving um, 1,300 vitality, which is um, pretty good. It's pretty good. So again, you do the first episode dungeon here, and then it will give you a full epic set, like epic set, which is pretty useful. Then... When you have a full epic set, you can probably say, okay, why should I do episode dungeons then? Well, still, it gives gold. So, you know, gold is always a good thing. Everyone likes gold in this game. But when you go to the next one then, Phantom Palace. It's still in tier 1, which means, you know, your gear is basically following you in tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. So, it's still going to be the set here. You can have, imagine now I have full epic set. Then the next one here is going to give you a near reward, which basically makes you allowed to craft legendary and then you do the same you're gonna farm this one you're gonna get a full legendary set you're gonna farm the next one you know and again farm your legendaries and get exactly you no know, legendaries and what you're gonna do again is you're gonna go down to the gear hunting guy and basically transfer over again from epic to legendary and what's the difference here is um, you can see here this this time it's still the only difference is like we can see that it's actually like the, um, the set bonus but now we can see the set bonus number five is actually even better this time it's now going to give me 4% attack power uh, up to 8 seconds, up to, but it's actually going to be stacking all the way up to 12. 
uh, up to 12 when attacking a monster boss rank or both. And it's cool and it's like uh, 3 seconds, so it's pretty great. If if this actually actually has like other effects, I'm not 100% sure. It seems like it's the same, um, but it's just like, you know, the bonus effect. So again, you want to do the next one here, get your equipment upgraded off so you know uh, legendary. And then of course, when you get to the next one, you're going to start from over again, because that's now where you actually are going to get your tier two armor, where you're going to do your, you know, you know, your cast dungeon, you're going to do the cast dungeon tier two, you get your full new armor set, is which is 802. So when you get to gear score 600, you're going to be able to unlock a tier two armor, which is 802, and you're going to do the same. You're going to use cast dungeon for upgrading it, guardian rate for upgrading it, like down here at your gear hunting guy, and then you're going to do episode dungeons for upgrading the quality, like not quality, but you know the color of it. So you go from blue to purple and purple to legendary. And again, the next one here is then unlocking the legendary set of it. As you can see here, that's the legendary set of the tier two. And then of course you have, when you unlock the new tier three armor, then of course you have here a tier three, um, tier three, uh, what do we call it? A tier three episode dungeon, which is basically then up unlocking your tier 3 armor to get up, you know, to epic or, you know, what, whatever they have, like here, I think they had, it looks like they actually have all the way up to legendary 2, right, on hard difficulty, yeah, looks like, yeah, so yeah, so that is basically episode dungeons, you unlock them by doing the zone quests, you have to, like, it's actually quite easy, it's, it's on my screen, I have to do the zone quests here, for North Warren. I have to get to level 50, I need to get 340 of my gear skull, and then I can do the first two here, and again, the only reason you're going to do it is because you want to upgrade your full equipment from Epic to Purple, from Purple to Legendary. It's very important to notice when you do these uh, episode dungeons, when you're done, when you're finished, it's going to ask you, but it's basically telling you, you, you got this reward, but if you pay a bit gold, you're going to get even more rewards. And in my case, I would always say yes to that. Of course, if you're doing it um, where it's below your level, so you don't need the materials on it, you can skip it and just enjoy, enjoy it, all the gold. But if you do it, if you like where you actually need the gear and you need the items and you need the upgrades, then you want to use those gold because you get, I don't know, like maybe 100 gold or something like that. And the chest costs something like 30. I, I'm a, don't hang me up on that. But you get more gold than what the chest costs. So basically, no matter what, you're going to get like more gold in the end. Maybe not much, but something like that. But still, when you finish, it's going to ask you, do you want to use some gold on a chest in there? And it's going to give you even more rewards. And if you are in an upgrading phase like me, when you actually need to stuff in from there, you want to say yes. So that's it. So that's basically it. That's episode dungeons, how you unlock them, how you play them, and so on. But yeah, you get in, and the first, I'm just going to quickly tell you, the first episode dungeon here, which is called Demon Beast Canyon, is the one where you have two bosses. You have like one very big flesh guy, and you have the second one, which is like a demon guy. And you, uh, I, I could probably do a video about each of the bosses and like tell the strategy of them. That could be fun. Let me know in the comments if you want like a guide on the bosses. But that's pretty much it. You get go in, kill these two bosses, and then you're done. But again, the bosses are not easy. They are not easy. So I think that covers pretty much up episode dungeons. So, so you know exactly what they are, what you use them for. And just to like really, really like show you the details in this video. I know we over like 30 minutes now, but just show you really how to actually craft this gear. So again, just to show you like quickly here. So in the top, sorry, bottom right corner here, you will be seeing that we have to craft Abyss equipment, where basically the, again, as I showed you up here, the currencies you get from here, like the orbs or the items, you can craft your legendary and epic items here. So basically you can see here, for example, I can craft my tier one gear for using my orbs and so on with other like higher tier gears. So you can see the weapon is requiring five of these Knights Oath that I got from, you know, the first page of um, Absol Dungeon. And again, two for the armors. So again, get your full equipment here. Then again, you can get your legendary after for doing the next page, as I showed you. And again, every time you then is, you know, basically crafting your gear from here, do the Absol Dungeon, get your crafting mats, you craft the items, as I just showed you. And then you're going to go over here to the gear hunting guy or gear honing. Sorry, I just learned how to say it correctly. Gear honing guy. 
you're going to talk with him or it's actually a lady you're going to talk with them where are you going to go to this page here gear transfer you put in like the item you want to keep so in this case if you crafted let's say a legendary you would click on that one and then you would pick your blue or epic item which high level and place in this one and basically all your upgrades is going from the one to the another it's pretty cool and really cool so you're not going to lose any progress or any upgrade on your weapon it's all going to be pushed over but it's important that you're going to keep you know the item you want to keep like the new one the epic or legendary on the left side and the item you want to like destroy and take all the levels from on the right side so i hope this video was helpful for you all and again as i said complete the north we're in main campaign you know do the dungeon here in balanka follow the just follow the you know the the quest get the 340 gear score then you unlock episode dungeon and then you can start getting your epic and after that your legendary armor and so on so thanks for watching and i hope this video was helpful for you all Bye.